है एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ट्रिकी वर्ल्ड सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी चेकिंग ऑन वी बी ए एक्सल मैक्रोज देर आर सर्टिन सीनैरियोज वाइल्ड रिकॉर्डिंग और कोडिंग मैक्रोज वी फेस देर आर सर्टिन एरर्स विच आर अन एवॉयडेबल और मे बी विच आर नॉट अंडर कंट्रोल सो हाउ टू टैकल दोज एरर्स हाउ टू Uh, you know ignore those errors we will see today there are certain error handling statements we will be discussing so let's jump to the screen let's get started on screen we have six columns table uh, the mid data table order date region name item units units cost and in the back end there is a simple macro which i have already coded so if i click on this icon it will give me 2121 which is total of e column 2121 so in the back end if i open the macro there is a simple statement message box sum of e2 to e50 range so that is a simple statement which i have used now we will see how we can tackle the errors so let's say if i add one statement here which is workbooks test.xlsx dot activate so what this statement will do it will check for the excel workbook with the name test.xlsx and it will activate that workbook so currently we have only one excel workbook which is open dummy sales data so if i try to run this statement it will throw us an error because it's not able to find this particular workbook with the name of test so what i can do if i i know this error might be there and we need to ignore in case this error would be there there is a one statement which we can put on top of this statement which is on error go to on error resume next so this statement will activate the resume mode after this statement whatever statements would be there in case any error would be there it will ignore that particular error and it will keep continuing the running the statements so this is the statement if i now now try to, to run this particular code it will not throw error it will pass on so let's say if for this particular line i want to give this error for other lines i do not want to pass this particular resume mode i can reset the behavior here by mentioning on error go to zero so now in case there is another statement here for example sheets astf dot activate so there will be error on this particular statement because there is a no sheet with the name of asdf in my workbook file so now if i try if i remove this if i now try to run on resume next it will ignore the error on this statement it, it will ignore the error on this statement it will pass message box and it will end the subject so down below all the in all the statements it will ignore the errors and if i reset the mode by mentioning on error go to zero so now we have resetted the error behavior now on this particular statement it will not throw error because it's under this mode now here this mode is getting activated under this all statements in in case error would be there that would pop out so here we have error and it will not allow us to go ahead so this is how we reset the behavior of uh, mode of error handling uh, statement and here we just cut off the error and we just resume continuing the statements so these are just two statements for error handling there is a, another statement we instead of own error resume next we can put own error go to some specific name maybe aaa so and a a a maybe we can put to the last 
and here I can give message box error so now what this will do it will own error go to a down below this any in any statement in case error would be there it will jump to this statement so here error would be there it will jump to this and it will create error so this way we can manipulate the code in case error is there we can generate specific comments or specific steps we can uh, activate so this is on error handling part how we handle the errors thank you for watching tricky world